hello everyone so in this lecture i'm going to discuss the implementation details of evaluation of postfix expression using stack data structure already in the last discussion i have mentioned how to evaluate the postfix expression using stack so today we will see how to implement that algorithm using c language so the implementation will be done using the array because stack can be implemented using the array also so here I am going to show how to utilize the array to maintain a stack data structure so here I have included the header files the four header files which will be required then I have considered one max variable here of size 20 then one array is declared here and the array name is declared as stack and the size of the stack array is 20 and three main functions will be required here so definitely we will have to use the pop function which is required for the stack and another function which is used here it is the push to push the element into the stack and another main function which is used here is the evaluate function the role of the evaluate function we'll see later on and this function is taking three parameters one is int op1 int op2 this op1 and op2 actually will play the role of the two operands and this character x here is going to play the role of the operator which we are going to evaluate and another variable here I have taken is stop variable and initially it is assigned to minus one because we have implemented this stack program using the array so that's why initially it should be initialized to minus one or we can say that top is equal to minus 1 it will symbolize that the stack is in a cell empty so here is the main function so in the main function the character x one variable is used here to read one by one symbol then two variables op1 op2 and another variable is going to help so from the user side user will input the postfix expression so the postfix expression will be something like say 532 then to the power this is the power symbol then say multiplication for so these are some examples which we are going to input to the program and that should be my output so as per the algorithm so first from the user side we will have to input the postfix expression and one while loop will be performed here and the while loop will continue until will not until the program will not read a dollar symbol and if you remember from the previous lecture it's like to maintain the end of the expression we are taking the help of the dollar symbol so here also the dollar symbol is used because from the because this x is going to read one by one character from the input expression until it will not reach the dollar symbol the loop will be performed here so x is going to read one character so if the character is a digit say in this case say it is 5 so that 5 should be inserted into the stack so we will have to use the function called push so say the value here x here it is 5 so definitely the compiler will take this 5 as sky value so the sky value minus 48 48 is the value for the to represent 0 so that the program will not find it any difficult to convert these things into a sky so that's why this operation is done so if 5 is read so 5 will be pushed into the stack so if the program is going to read one operator if you remember if the program is going to read one operator so what exactly we'll have to do we'll have to pop out to element from the stack so pop first 
element from the that means the top element from the stack and another prop function is op2 and op1 and after that the evaluate function is called here and in the evaluate function the operator is passed and to operand are passed so the function this evaluate function will be called so we'll have to see the evaluate function now so if the operator for the time being let us consider that the operator is say plus and the op1 and op2 will be the operand so if plus is call or read by the program then we'll have to do the addition if the value of x is say minus then we'll have to subtract op1 minus op2 if it is multiplication we'll have to multiply it if it is division then division operation if it is modulus then we'll have to do the modulus if it is a power symbol or say exponential then we are calling the power function so it, it is a inbuilt function which is going to return it a power value that means the base this is the base and this is the power so that is the role of this evaluate function so after doing the evaluation the value will be stored in one variable that is val and that val will be pushed into the stack and these things will continue until the program is not going to read the dollar symbol so finally we'll have to pop out the value and this is stored in val again and we'll have to print out the val so we are having three function already i have shown you how the role of the evaluate function so pop and push function let us see the role of this pop and push so this is the push function how we can implement so if the top element is say so just to show you the overflow condition it should be overflow so if max minus one this is overflow otherwise we are incrementing a top pointer then we are initializing the value into the stack this is my array and this is the pop function so in top a pop function if top is pointing to minus one that means it is empty otherwise we are just removing the element so i think this program is understandable and the main function here it is the evaluate and so two inbuilt functions are used here mainly one is the is digit function which is going to check whether the input or the reading character is a digit or not digit and another is the power function here so let us run this program and we will take this inputs because these are the two inputs which I have shown in the previous slides also to maintain the same example let us execute the program so the program is running so from the user side I am going to insert now so 5 3 2 then the exponential then I am having multiplication then 4 then plus and another thing which I will have to edit here this is the dollar symbol so the program will read from left to right all the elements so let us so this is the value 49 why it is 49 because first it will read 5 it is going to push into the stack then 3 it is going to push into the stack then 2 it is going to push into the stack then the program is going to read the exponential so 2 and 3 will be called right so 3 square then 9 will be pushed into the stack then 5 and 9 in my in my stack now then program is going to read a star so 9 into 5 45 then 4 then plus so for 45 plus 4 that will be 49 and when the program will read dollar so the program is going to halt here so that is the output so let us check the another example let us run So 5, 3, plus 8, 2, minus, then star, then I'll have to give dollar symbol here. So it is 48. 
so that's it so that is the output which we have got just let us take randomly another number say 5 4 say multiplication right so it should be 20 oh sorry I have to input the dollar symbol here so 5 4 multiply then dollar so it is 20 so the program is correct and it is checking all the operators like addition subtraction multiplication division modulus and the exponential so again I'm repeating for exponential I'm taking the help of the power function from your end you can write down your own code for how to do the power and if you want to do the checking whether the input is a digit or it is not a digit you can check or you can write your own code so from the beginning again I am showing you so first we have I have initialized or I have declared on stack with max size is 20 here then three pop of functions are declared on pop push then the evaluate so the evaluate function is taking two para three parameters one is the operator and two are the operand and we have perform one simple loop and with this loop the program is working so presently the uh, implementation here it is done using C so from your end if possible try to convert this program into C++ then you will have to take the help of class and these functions you will have to incorporate or encapsulate inside the class so try to design the program in C++ also so thank you